Well, I'm Kenny Lowry. Today we're going to take a look at the coral cone jar set of three. Now this is that uh, kind of a cone shape, uh, we call it cone shape, shape. It does have that coral finish, that, that really rough texture finish that, that we like so much. Uh, this texture, these pots are more about texture or as much about texture as they are color, although there are some beautiful colors in here. Uh, that rough texture goes really well with hardscaping, rock walls, uh, around beaches, um, just a variety of places that the, this rough texture really really uh, goes in well, fits in well in those areas. You get the glossy glazed jars and they'll contrast. This will blend in the landscape more. So you can kind of choose whether you want to contrast, when you want to blend. Uh, the shape of the jar is kind of a little bit contemporary, so there again you can pull that in. And uh, we always love to get photos from customers showing us uh, their finished product so they can we can all kind of learn and see what it looks like in the landscape. So. Uh, send us in your pictures. We love to get those. Uh, we also do the lighting on this. If you haven't seen the lighting video, go over to the info page and you'll see lighting video. Uh, lots of useful tips and uh, information over there on that info page. So I encourage you to go over there. Um, this set of three here, I think the way we've got them placed here, we're, we're just shooting videos here and we're taking these right back down. So these aren't really bunched in together as, as they should be. We're just using those same spots where we have the hose coming in. Uh, from previous yards. So I think if you had this bunched down a little better, uh, if you're installing it on your end, kind of bunch it in, pulling it a little closer, I think would look better. I always like to have the back one, uh, the large one to the back, to the side, the, the middle one then kind of back about maybe a half to two thirds of the way up on it, kind of like here towards the front of it, and then your small one kind of filling that gap. Uh, but that's something you can play with before you install it. Once you get your basin in, you got your, your support blocks in, uh, you can kind of and, and, and kind of place those jars on there and get it to where you want it before you actually do the installation. Uh, remember to uh, look at the uh, info page there for installation video and also when we send your fountain we send you a 10 page. One thing you have to remember, each jar requires two blocks of support. So if you have three jars, that's six blocks. If you have one jar, that's two blocks. So always remember it's two blocks per jar, goes on out either side of it underneath the support that right grade underneath. Right now, I'll grab the camera and take a close-up look. Colors are beautiful on all these coral jars. You get this beautiful colors on them because they're over-glazed. And uh, then the, the, cause it's a bubble and then, and then they grind that down, smooth it out somewhat, and then you get those colors revealed underneath. And the colors are just beautiful. I see yellow, I see red, I see green in different shades. I see brown, maybe even a little bit of purple in there. And keep in mind, all jars are they're hand done, so they're going to be a little different. You can see this smaller one here is a little more yellow in that one than the large one has, but they all do match because it is the color, same color scheme. So uh, you can kind of get an idea of that rough texture in there. Just a beautiful, beautiful finish on those jars. As always, if you have any questions, you can reach me at 540-948-2239 or email me, Kenny, at southerngraceva